So lately, I've had a lot of people coming into my stream while I'm listening to my own music, jamming out, enjoying myself, and they always end up asking me how it is that I'm listening to my own music that I want to, and yet the stream is listening to other copyright-friendly music, something different. And no, it's not that I have earbuds in or anything like that. As much as I love and appreciate Pretzel, Monster Cat, Stream Beats, all of those, and don't get me wrong, they are a godsend when it comes to all of us streamers and just allowing the stream to have some type of sound at all times. There's only so much EDM and smooth techno that I can take before I go crazy and I, I need to go binge listen to some punk ska from the 90s. Maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. Either way, I had to figure out a way slightly around it so that way I could listen to my own music. And if you have a GoXLR or really any other audio mixer, it's a little bit different. But if you have a GoXLR especially, all it takes is a simple download, a couple minutes of routing, and you could listen to your own music that you want to listen to. Meanwhile, the stream has their own stuff, their own background soundtrack that's DMCA friendly, and you don't have to worry about any takedowns or copyright issues or anything like that. Hey everyone, my name is KDog57. Today I wanted to go through the process of setting up your audio features and routing so that you're able to listen to whatever music you want. Meanwhile, your stream listens to something that is copyright friendly and you don't have to worry about any DMCA takedowns or anything like that. Now I'm going to be focusing mainly on the GoXLR since that's what myself and a lot of streamers utilize right now. But this is a process and a concept that can be applied to really any audio mixer, even something like uh, a virtual one like voice meter banana uh, i used to do something very similar using that program it just takes a little bit of tweaking on your end if you are using something a little bit different but the concept still applies first off you'll need to download the virtual audio cable software which a lot of you may already be familiar with if you are currently using virtual audio cables, you will need to download one of the extensions to add additional cables, but otherwise, if you're not, just a standard download for virtual audio cable will be fine. After downloading and installing the virtual cables, open up whatever music source you're using for DMCA-friendly music, whether it's stream beats through Spotify, Monster Cat, Pretzel, etc. The main focus here is that you use a local desktop player that allows you to alter the output of the audio and the output destination. I'm using Pretzel here, for example, just because it's the easiest to represent. Go into your settings, select the output device, then select the new cable input that you just created by installing the audio cable. After that, open up your other music player that you want to listen to personally. In that one, go to settings again, select your audio output as the music channel routing on your GoXLR. Next, open up your GoXLR app and head to the routing page. Focus here is going to be headphones and stream mix. You wanna make sure that the music is checked for your headphones, but not your broadcast stream mix. This will allow you to control the music that you hear with the GoXLR itself while not having to worry about the stream hearing it. Once that's done, now it's time to deal with the technical work and open up OBS. If you don't already, you have to create an input of your audio coming from the GoXLR. What I mean is all of my audio is mixed and balanced using my GoXLR and then sent to OBS all wrapped in a tiny little pretty bow. That's the only audio source I use when I stream. Gaming, PC, chat, everything is compiled and comes in as one source. And this is why you paid for the GoXLR anyways. And if you followed Helicon's instructions, you already should have this set up. So you have the GoXLR broadcast stream mix as one of your mic auxiliary audio inputs. Now you're going to add the virtual audio cable to desktop audio too. I can't honestly remember why I don't have it set as the first one. I think I had some issues for some reason back when I first set this up. The second one works, so I just run with it, and I recommend doing the same. Now, when you go back to OBS, you will have two different audio channels showing. One for the audio cable, which I would recommend renaming as soon as possible so you don't forget which one it is, and one for your GoXLR. 
That's it. You just have to adjust audio levels according to your stream, and you're good to go. Of course, if you are also recording locally and don't want to have music in the background, be sure to adjust your output channels of your audio to reflect the changes that you have just made by routing the DMCA friendly music to all your tracks, audio tracks, but channel one, most likely recommended, and then setting your recording to channel one and your stream output to channel two. This way, any of your recordings won't have any of the audio. Meanwhile, your stream still will. That's it. I know it got a little complicated there for a minute, but I tried to simplify it as much as possible. Again, if you're running a different audio mixer than the GoXLR, main difference there is that instead of routing to the GoXLR music tab that we did during that step, you would have to route it to your own respective audio output, whether that's a virtual cable in Voice Meter Banana or a virtual or a different port on your respective audio mixer. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free, hop on over to the Discord or come by the stream late nights, 11 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions and help you guys set up with your respective setups. This was just a video that was a way for me to kind of answer this question that I've been getting every stream almost. And so it was a way to consolidate that. As always, let me know in the comments if this helped you guys out and look forward to seeing you guys in the stream.